today I'm sitting in one of my dream cars. This is a brand new 718 generation Porsche Cayman GT4 and the colour on this car is monumentally gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen anything so beautiful. The reason I'm in this car today then is because I've been invited by Porsche and GB to come along for a drive day. It's where they essentially bring some of the cars from their range down. I think they've got six or so today and just invite people like myself to come and have a little go in them. Now inherently with a day like today, I don't have much time with the car. In fact, I've got just over an hour with the car. So I thought there's not really much point in me trying to film a really posh fancy review because well, it'd be pretty impossible to do. But 15 minutes up the road is where my dad lives. And I know you all love seeing Danny on the channel. So why not, I thought, go and pick him up. He doesn't know I'm gonna pick him up by the way. Go and pick him up and uh, see what he makes of this GT4. I thought we can get his reaction on camera. easy to get in, are they? No, These are the carbon. I, I, I didn't realise that. Got, it sort of sank into it. Did it go somewhere it shouldn't have done? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately not. <laughs> wow, it's low, isn't it? It's proper low. It feels like a proper I race I don't think I've ever felt like Look where the gear, like the, gosh, it's so purposeful. I don't think I've ever sat anything this low. It's crazy. It's a man. proper, proper piece Ooh. of kit, this. All right, you'll like this actually, Dad, so. <clears throat> It's got auto blip mode, right. which uh, a few other cars I've driven have got, like the 370Z. Yeah, yeah. But so you press that, and then yeah. if I just go into first, ah, uh, it does it for me, which is really cool. I like to do it myself, but actually it's so satisfying <laughs> the way it does it. So this is the same setup to what my boxer was like with the engine behind. Yes, yes. <laughs> so what's nice about this though is that although and it, yeah, red lines all the way up at 8,000 RPMs. Yeah. So it just sounds amazing, but it's not stupidly fast. It is quick, obviously. It is but quick. It I does... feel like you could take this to Snowdonia. Where there's gorgeous oh, roads. Yeah. And you could probably, you know, really you use the power, and you'd feel, and you'd feel confident in the power as well. Absolutely. It's got so much power, but it's not ever scary to use. With so, it. what brake horsepower is it? I think it's around the 400 mile. Okay. Power. This is just so involving yeah the steering is perfectly weighted the, the gear is you know it's in exactly the right place i didn't have to adjust the seat at all when i got in i mean a proper drivers you car. can't really because it's a, you know, it's got no adjustment on it apart from forwards and backwards but yeah you're just straight up driving position in the right place right there yeah and that was right in the boxster and it's just even better in this so what do you think of this cayman gt4 I mean, even in the passenger seat, I can feel that this is a proper driver's car. And I think the other thing that Porsche have done really well is they've just retained the Porsche-ness, you know, in terms of the instrumentation, the vents. You know, there's lots of stuff I recognise from your Porsche Boxster in terms of yeah. design yeah, details, yeah, yeah, like is. the gnarled Just the dials. Vents and, um, cool, well, I better say goodbye to you because I've got to drop this car back on yeah. before they start yeah, calling me saying, have exactly. you driven it to Snowdonia? Yeah. <laughs> but thanks for being a good sport anyway. Right, and, well. uh, I thought, I was just thinking on the way down to Porsche or to where we are, where we are meeting, what am I going to do with an hour? And I thought, actually, it's not too far from you. Yeah. So let's see what you think. Well, I'm... Um, because you can talk for England, so... I can, yes. It's just sorted as soon as I get you in a video. We're, we're fine. <laughs> All I have to worry about is cutting it down. Well, exactly, yeah, cutting out all the waffle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Main points to conclude with then, this is the Cayman GT4 in frozen berry, and it does have the carbon ceramic brakes, which is probably part of the reason for explaining why these brakes feel especially good on 
of this car better than anything I've ever felt before. And one thing I've not been able to get used to in this very short time I've had with the car is just quite how high the rev limit goes. Second gear, 5,000 RPM now. The thing's already howling at you. Six and a half thousand RPM. I'm thinking I need to change, but no. I've got that much more to go. That is something that would take getting used to is the super long gears and actually almost planting it through the pain that is that monumentally loud intake noise of the engine just behind. You really have to persevere through those revs. But it is so worth it. Oh my goodness. This is a masterpiece. I mean, look, I'm no journalist, but I can tell from just sitting in this and driving it for about an hour that it is, you know, just, it is clearly up to its reputation of being one of the best driver's cars ever made. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, I can fault about this. It doesn't even have stupid infotainment screens that I can moan about because they've kept it basic. There's still buttons to control the temperature in the car and everything that's actually important. You've still got analog dials. The visibility's not bad. It's good out the back even. You have two cup holders. I mean, I cannot, I can't fault this at all. Even, you know, cruise control is available. I'm going to use that now. I love this thing. What I will be doing later on when I get home is going onto the Porsche configurator and specking one of these up. But I think Frozen Berry is probably the colour I'd have to go to. And as we're driving in the sunlight now, I can see just this sort of pearlescent paintwork glittering in the sunlight on those front arches. I'm obsessed with this thing. Wow. There we go. Put it back in amongst the other gorgeous models. Give back the keys, which is the worst part of it all. There we go. Goodbye, GT4. Although there is a 911 GT3 Touring sat over there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found that somewhat insightful. I hope you appreciate. It. I literally get an hour with the car, so. I thought getting my dad in the passenger seat would be a good way to use that time. And there is a GT4 RS. <gasps> is that part of the press fleet? Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all very, very soon. <laughs> that is beautiful. Right, get okay, out, mate. get out. See you later. Bye. Make sure you come back with the Porsche. Yeah.